gold medal Olympic victory in 1968. He ultimately became heavyweight champ upon defeating Joe Frazier in 1973. Now a Baptist minister, George Foreman came out of retirement three years ago and is now scheduled to fight Evander Holyfield in Atlantic City in his quest to reclaim the heavyweight crown at the age of 42. Welcome to Sports Chat, George. Thank you, Gail, Bobby. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, we're fans, George. Big, big fans. I appreciate it. I, I guess I'm going to start the show by asking the most obvious question. George, you're 14 years older than Holyfield. You think you can do it? Oh, sure. And don't let the age difference fool you. Uh, look at me. I'm down to a trim, 305 pounds. So <laughs> if I have to, I can just dance around the ring all night and, and until he gets tired and drops. <laughs> until he drops. Oh, that's so funny. I am a big, big fan, George. It is, Bobby. Uh, you're a boxer and a minister. Uh-huh, that's right. I have my own congregation in Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. Boy, between the two, you must have a lot of robes. Uh, about seven. <laughs> George, is there any sort of conflict in your two worlds of boxing and religion? I know it sounds like a dichotomy, but it really isn't because... A uh, what? Paradox. A seemingly self-contradictory phenomenon. Not unlike Moses, who was a peace-loving man, who had no choice but to deliver the plagues upon Egypt in order to free his people. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Uh, but some of these recent uh, opponents, I mean, they haven't been dichotomies. They stunk. They're good people, Bobby. People with souls, hearts, loved ones. That's a beautiful way of looking at a poem. Well, a beautiful way of looking at a and Hollyfield wants to take his head off. Uh, Evander's an angry man, unsettled. I'd like to help him. And all people who wonder aimlessly. <laughs> You've got to understand, George, Bobby sees things in black and white, heads or tails, yes or no. Nobody's going to drown in the depth of Bobby Tannen. Yeah, well, listen, I'm rubber and you're glue. Forgive me, George, he knows not what he's talking about. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Listen, George, she is living in sin with a man. That is totally inappropriate, Bobby. Gail, your eyes are not at peace with the heavens. Uh, you know, they're just red from the allergies in the air. Oh, no, she's allergic to him. I know, I live next door. What it gets ugly over there. Have you been snooping again? So what if I have? Well, I told you. Yeah, yeah. That's what... Bobby, what? yeah. Yes? Let us pray. George. No. Uh, Bobby, come on, you. Bobby. Come on. Yeah. Let us pray. Oh, okay. Gail, Bobby, we must learn to open our hearts. Mike, what the hell's Foreman doing out there? Well, we He's praying, sir. Well, I can see that. Bobby. Gail and Bobby start going at it. He wants to pray. If he wants to start preaching, let him do it on my religious channel. That's a funny thought, sir. That's not a thought. That's a plan. Let me show you what my son Antoine designed me for my birthday. I had hoped you would just move it. Let's go to lunch. <laughs> oh, it's the knee. <laughs> Boy, I bet that hurts. <laughs> George Foreman. How do you know? 
You read the card already. I read it. He felt really bad about what happened. Dear Bobby, hope you're better by April 26th so you can see my fight against Holyfield. Good seats are still available. Your buddy George. <laughs> you know, I'd like to see that fight. Yeah, me too. Now I'll put plenty of TV dinners in the fridge. Put a turkey in the oven. I'll come back in a couple of hours and take it out for you if you want me to. This is hot. <laughs> and some sodas in the fridge. Yeah. Gail. Yeah. What are you doing here? You're sick. And I put some of that cheesy stuff with the crackers, you know, in case you get hungry before the turkey's ready. You just yeah. don't want to go home to Nick, that's all. Oh, yeah, sure. It's ridiculous. Nick and I are very much in love. Very, very much. Oh, he's a lucky guy, Nick is. You're a wonderful nurse with soft, gentle hands. Oh, are you flirting with me? Mm, no. I must be delirious from... Gail! Oh. I made dinner! Mm. Gail! She heard you. Okay! <laughs> So do you have to go right now? I mean, what happens if I relapse? What happens if I have a hernia or a, or a, a goiter? I don't know anything. A concussion. You made me dinner, you know? What, of sprouts and herbs and... It's more complicated than that, okay? I'll be right across the way. Look, you'll see me. Just yell. You feel better, Tannen. Oh, don't pout. Gail! Gail! I need something. A what? smile. Thanks. I feel better. Oh, if you don't mind, I'm wearing your jersey. I hope you don't mind I'm wearing your panties on my head. <laughs> oh, Bobby Tannen, you make me laugh. But I don't know if I can trust you. Well, you can trust me about one thing. Those are the goofiest looking glasses I've ever seen. Oh. <laughs> Come to bed. You can trust me, Kim. really blew it. Don't, Nick. Don't what? I'm working. You're making me nervous. We need to talk. No, we don't. You need to talk. I need to finish my copy by Monday. Isn't it funny? You never have time for me, but you always manage to find time for your work and Bobby Tannen. Uh-huh. I love my work. Bobby needed me. Sure it's not the other way around? Oh. <laughs> Don't be jealous, Nick. Isn't there some herb you can take that counteracts the jealousy? I mean, go drink some of that ginsu stuff. Okay? <laughs> ginsu. You mean ginseng. Sweetheart, ginseng isn't used for thought clarity. Ginseng is used for energy. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I can't remember all the sings and the sirs, okay? <laughs> well, maybe it's time for somebody I know to read my book, Let's Root for Roots Again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you feel a little silly putting out a book called It's Root for Roots? <laughs> well, no more silly than an intelligent woman smiling like a monkey and chirping such unforgettable pearls as Bengals, mauled tigers, a white sox, wash red sox. Bengals don't play the Tigers. Tigers are a baseball team. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I feel like such a fool. Uh, I don't know all your little team nicknames. I guess now I'll never be able to be interviewed on your Nobel Prize winning show for beer guzzling Neanderthals. Oh, sports chat. Chew the fat on sports chat. Mm. Uh-uh. Okay, my career embarrasses you. Huh. Gee, I'm sorry about that. Well, I'll quit. Oh, you'll probably make a fortune when the shower with the sprouts is released. Shout for sprouts. <laughs> right. yeah. Why are you trying to hurt me, Gail? 
I hurt you. I, you insulted my work. Well, you're making fun of my book. You called me a monkey. Well, you are my little monkey, aren't you? Nick, don't. Gail, no, you know how much I love you. Well, then stop putting my work down. All right, well, you lay off my book, okay? Okay. Please, honey. You hear something? Oh, Gail! Sounded like a hurt animal, maybe a cat. Gail! I heard all over! And wait! Help! Help! A dog. A big, helpless, immature golden retriever Gail! dog. Gail! Gail! Are you in there? Gail! I'm calling for help! Per your instructions! I'm in danger! I need help! <laughs> <laughs> this is what is this? It's so great. Ham. It's a ham sandwich. Fabulous. Hey, you kids. Listen, I know I'm an inconvenience. I promise I'll be out of here as soon as I'm feeling a little better. And how long will that be, Bobby? Eight weeks stops. <laughs> but in the meantime, it's just like one of those old-time pajama parties, isn't it? Gail, <laughs> yeah. tell me about these pickles. How do you do them, huh? They are so delicious. I open the jar. That's what I do to them. Well, I knew you did something. <laughs> oh, thank you. So much. How about a pillow? <laughs> Gail and I are going to bed now, together. You don't uh, say prayers or need to be read a story or anything, do you? There's no need to be sarcastic with him. That's true. I'm sorry, Bob. Actually, you're here at a perfect time. Gail and I could use some advice. We seem to be stuck on one particular issue. Well, I'm here to help. Leave him out of this. I'm warning you. No, Gail, the man asked if he could help. Let's let him help. No, I do, I do. I want to help. See, the thing is, Bob, Gail and I just don't seem to like each other much anymore. That's not good. I'm trying to control my temper, Nick. You're doing a very good job of it, too. Yeah. Uh, what's wrong, Gail? Afraid you're going to get mad and uh, beat me up? She probably thinks she can. I guess I don't know much about sports, so I'm not a real man. Make a muscle. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say you weren't a real man. Let's be clear about this. You are a real man. You're not a fun man. You're not a sensitive man. You're not a clever man or a secure man. You don't act like an intelligent man. But despite all that, yes, Nick, you are a real man. You don't know how to be with a real man. You're incapable of committing to a relationship. Would you like to know why? Yeah! <laughs> why? <laughs> because the word relationship comes from the word relate and you can't relate. And the reason you can't relate! Pay attention, Bob, will you? <laughs> Because you have no soul, Gail. You get by on nothing but your looks! And the result of that has turned you into a cold-hearted bitch! What did he call me? Uh, cold-hearted bitch. <laughs> what did you call me? You hurt me! I called you a cold-hearted Good night, Gail. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Dreams. Listen, that reminds me. I had the best dream about, about a... Not now, Bobby. Please. About us. <laughs> Nick, you okay in there? <laughs> Maybe he's knocked out. Oh, this is turning out much better than I hoped. Somebody catch the light. <laughs> Sleep well? <laughs> Great, you? Like a rock. Hey, who's hungry? I'm starving. Yeah? How about I whip up some of those seven-grain pancakes? Would you, honey? Absolutely. Mm. 
How about you, Bob? Great. Catch okay? You okay? Believe this relationship. It's so sick. Gail, yeah, listen. I had a dream about us. It was fabulous. Let me... Bob! <laughs> you got your choice of juice. I have mango, papaya, strawberry, banana, orange, or I can whip up my own special blend. The, 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 the last one. Consider it squeezed. Okay. Same thing every night. We have this awful fight and this wonderful sex, and I wake up feeling like nothing's wrong. It's so sick. You do this every night? Plus, all day on the weekends. Today's Saturday. I know. <laughs> Here we go. My very own special morning drink. Listen, I, I have a good notion. You know, it's a pretty day. I wanted you to do some healthy things, like you know, swimming or you could do some, some uh, laps, hit the heavy bag. And, and Gail and I, well, we'll cook up that 51-grain uh, cake thing of yours. So, no can do, compadre. See, weekends are for staying in, spending time together. Mm. It might be nice for a change. We want change now, is that what we want? Would you excuse us for a minute, please? Oh, where am I gonna go? Where is he gonna go? Oh, where am I gonna go? Fine, stay. The important thing is Gail wants change, and since I only live for what Gail wants, let's change something. We should change into someone else. It's starting. Excuse me. Go, oh, Gail, can I see you in the bedchamber, please? Why? Because it's Saturday. I don't want it to be Saturday anymore. Well, 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 Gail doesn't want it to be Saturday anymore. Well, what day do you want it to be? Back ah! <laughs> uh, We do need to talk. I'm getting out of here. Oh, this is scaring me. Wait a minute. Bobby, 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 Bobby please don't leave our little love nest. No, I don't want to be in the middle of this. Oh, come on. You love being in the middle of this. You think I'm an idiot? No, I don't think you're an idiot. I think I'm an idiot. You see, because I had some crazy idea that I, I was needed here, but I'm not. It's none of my business. <laughs> you people are crazy. <laughs> Please excuse me. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Open the door. I want to go home. Bobby! Goodbye! <laughs> George, cut it out. This is not cheering me up. Okay. Let's talk. What's so important about that dream that made you go over there anyway? Well, you know, I don't think it was a dream. I think it was more like a memory. See, I left out part of the story. Oh, Bobby, I hate that. <laughs> what part? Well, I spent a weekend with Gail 20 years ago. And when I came to work here... I didn't remember it, and now she hates me. Oh, well, you know what you got to do about that. What? Tell Gail you remember the time you were together. Mm, I, I don't think she's going to care about any of that now. Doesn't matter, Bobby. You've hurt that woman. Now you've got to make it right for her and for yourself. I, I don't think I can stand to see them together anymore. Oh, sure you can. Let the truth give you strength. That's what's always made a winner. <laughs> me a winner? Uh-huh. Believe me, be patient. I'm pretty smart about these things. Your time to be a winner is coming. Just like mine. April the 26th, Evander Holyfield and George Foreman for the heavyweight championship of the world. And Bobby, there's still good seats available. I'm going, George. I'm going. Now, for real, huh? Okay? Love him or leave him? You Bobby, and me? you know what I said about you being a winner? Yeah. That ain't gonna happen at this table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. It's open. Hi. Hi. 
Where's Nick? Gone. Oh. What happened? Well, first I stopped yelling. Then he stopped yelling. And then we just looked at each other and realized there was nothing left. Ah, what a surprise. I'm shocked. You are not shocked. You came over here to break us up. I know. Why? Maybe you're, it's because you're so pretty in the morning. Or maybe it's because I've been a jerk my whole life and you're the first person to call me on it. Who was pretty in the morning? <laughs> Thank you. That's nice. Uh, are you, uh, sharing? Uh. <laughs> got it, I got it. I got it. Uh, well, what's wrong with your arm? Oh, 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 nothing. Uh, George, he, 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 uh, he just wanted to come over and, uh, you know, get some arm wrestling tips and broke my arm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dan, you make me laugh. I'm glad. But you're dangerous. You are very dangerous. It's okay, Gail. Trust me. <laughs> Heard that before. I want to be alone now. Gail, I remember. Bobby, it's okay. I told you, I'm over it. You were coming out of your bathroom in your dorm. You were wearing my Jets jersey. You were smiling. Your hair was wet. You were coming out of the shower. You had my helmet in your hand. And you, you put it up on, on, on your lamp next to your bed and you, and you said, Tannen, you're funny. You made me laugh. <laughs> you remember. I remember. <laughs> Too little. Too late. <laughs>